Today we're going to be building a neon pumping system for Renato to do some glass blowing with. He needs a pumping system to pump down all of his neon tubes. This is the old unit from Barton, which is a Dynavac, which is purchased from another glass blower. It's been decommissioned. We've stripped it down, cleaned it all up, and put the parts that we want to keep back in the unit. We're going to be putting some of our own parts in there and making it a bit more of a custom design, specifically suited for what Renato's doing. Just to give you a bit of an idea, that's the sort of thing that Renato does. Over here I have some spade terminals and some bootlace ferrules. I've got all the tools that I believe I'm going to need. I also picked up this ratcheting crimping tool here very recently, so that'll definitely come in handy for this project. I also got another pretty cool piece of kit that I got delivered a few days ago, so we'll open that in a second. We'll be needing that on this build. Here it is. The package I've been waiting for. It is another pair of crimping pliers. These are not just normal crimping pliers, they're actually bootlace ferrule crimping pliers. So as you can see, when we crimp down these four jaws lock in and crimp the boot lace and it's ratcheting so we've got to go all the way then open and then the um, jaws open back up so we can lock it in lock it further all the way and then when we release it'll release the boot lace and uh, that should be a pretty handy little tool I think that does yeah there we go it does from 0.08 to 6 millimeter square wire, or 28 to 10 gauge. Very good. This is just an old bench, which may be replaced at some stage. But at the moment, the priority is to get this beast here back up and running. That's the Bombarda transformer which we'll have to wire up and um, we'll have to do some resistance tests on all of the outputs I'll see if I can show you in there quickly but we've got one winding here another winding across here another winding here another winding here and we've got another winding popping out somewhere over here and that goes to a rectifier and the rectified output goes to the ground actually straight to the case here which is grounded um, so we'll have to figure out what all that is about that's the high voltage output from that transformer and to control the input power to the transformer we've got this little triac circuit here so we've got input power here goes straight to the triac control circuit and the output comes out these two terminals here these two wires will go to a potentiometer which will be mounted uh, here I've already got it in there and um, that'll control the bombarda this switch here is for turning the bombarda on and off and we've also got another switch which I've customized by putting this in this is just a momentary check for the bombarda so instead of switching it on or off we can just use this momentary push button switch just for a quick pulse test now, this switch here will turn the main unit on and off so the pumps will go on and off with that switch there over here we have a vacuum gauge 
We'll also be putting a penning gauge in here, I believe, an Edwards penning gauge, and these valves are to control the pumps. There will also be more valves on the actual manifold as well, so wherever you can see these threaded connections, here, here, and another one here, there will also be some valves connected to those. You can see here on this side I've already wired two inputs. Uh, one of them is going to be for the control circuit and the other one for the pumps and we may even put another one in for the bombarda and have them all running off of um, different breakers. As you can see, this has been stripped right down. There's nothing in it. Everything that you see here is new wiring that's been installed. Um, so we've got the input power coming from over here through the bottom. That'll snake around to this control panel over here. That's the main electrical panel. Here's a quick shot of the back side of the electrical control panel and we've got the other panel here with the valves and the gauges all ready to go. Um, I believe what Renato's going to do is connect this fitting here up to his glass manifold which will pop out this hole here that we've cut out of the top of the, um, the Dynavac and that's just a bit of brown paper on some black acrylic which we've cut to suit. So we'll probably end up cutting some holes in here for the manifold to pop out the top. And we will also have some auxiliary outputs on this and here's two power points here and we've also got two holes here which had power points in them and we'll be reusing those. I have them sitting right here. We've also got some other hardware and bits and pieces. Now I've got this penny gauge here which has just been calibrated and it's all in working condition so we'll pop that into the control panel. All good to go. Yeah, under the bit of cloth is the diffusion pump which we've spent some time cleaning out. Uh, the backing pump is actually away getting serviced mainly because there's a billion parts in those things whereas this uh, diffusion pump has minimal parts and we can get in there and clean it all out ourselves so it's pretty much in brand new condition um, all ready to go. Now the last thing we've got to do before we actually start wiring up this uh, vacuum system is to fit off the fan to this diffusion pump here. The heating element seems to be fine but when I went to test and inspect the cooling fan I realised that it was all rusty so this shaded pole motor is pretty much past its use by date when I applied power wouldn't even get it to turn at all so we've ditched that one and we've gone for a replacement fan here from another diffusion pump. You can see there's no rust on this core, it's in working condition. And um, all we have to do now is feed the power through and fit this off. And this should get this diffusion pump back up and running 100%. Carefully pop that in. And that's about all we need to do here. And that is ready to install. So that wraps up 
this episode. In the next episode, we'll wire up the vacuum system completely and do a bit of a test run. So stay tuned for that. Until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave comments.